Eric here from Muskie Homebrew. Just finishing up a brew day. Kind of do a quick follow-up video uh, because they sent us the fermenter. We did the full review uh, initially and then they responded to that uh, by sending us a the jacket that comes with it because we had made a few points that it was a little bit hard to tug around and uh, so they sent us that. Uh, I'm going to use it today. I'm going to give you kind of a first look review and my thoughts on this jacket for the craft boo craft a brew uh, fermenter coming up next so the catalyst fermenter as you know uh, we do the full review on it like I said earlier uh, link up here and down in the description below, uh, but they also have a cover for it. Comes in a nifty little box like this. So I've got a batch of Zombie Dust Clone chilling right now, and I'm just going to unpackage this and kind of take a look at it, tell you what I see. So it looks like it goes from the bottom. It's got it's actually got like a little viewing window in it, it looks like, so you can still see. I mean, that's that's one of the cool things about the fermenter is that it's clear, so so they actually left a little Velcro window there, which is kind of funny. Um, this isn't insulating. It's not like a neoprene type of jacket or anything, um, but it has two handles on it, and I'm thinking it will probably be much easier as long as the base kind of holds with it. Uh, the base isn't very heavy, so I think this wedged in Oh, there's actually straps for it. So the base will move with it, and now you have two handles which you can kind of carry around. Uh, similar to almost like a carboy um, carrier. They've got a few, carboys have something similar to this, so um, we'll see how it goes. I'll take a few shots and uh, kind of give you my quick first look review of uh, the jacket with the fermenter. So quick first thoughts on the Craft Brew jacket for their Catalyst Fermenter. Um, I give it a thumbs up. It's pretty good. Um, it'd be kind of nice if it had a neoprene jacket just to help with temperature control a little bit. Not a big deal at all. I think, uh, I think the jacket with the handles is a no-brainer. If, if you're even considering purchasing the Catalyst Fermenter, I would definitely, definitely get the jacket as it just makes moving the thing so much easier. 
Um, being able to hold on the straps up high is much better than holding on the base down low with all the liquid on top. Um, it's just much more stable and much easier to move around. Also noticed that uh, when I did install the jacket, I actually had it on sideways or backwards. So the window should actually be showing you the measurement markers. So as I was filling it up from my boil kettle into the fermenter, I was trying to figure out how much liquid I actually had or how much wort I had. And so I had to shimmy the jacket down a little bit to see the measurements, no big deal. I can move it later, um, don't need it now. But uh, just a quick FYI, if you are purchasing it, make sure you line the window with the, the numbers and the measurements. Other than that, that was a quick follow up on the Catalyst fermenter. This will be our second time using it. Um, so as we mentioned before, as we continue to use it um, and boil more and more five gallon batches, uh, we'll keep you in the loop on how it handles and we will see you guys next time. Make sure to subscribe, like this video, and if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Cheers.